Hey what's up guys welcome back to a brand new video this is Ryan from Mars Tech and today I'm going to be checking out this Edifier G2000 gaming computer speakers. In interest of full disclosure I did purchase this speaker with my own fund and this review is 100% honest. So let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the review. On the side of the box it tells you what's included in the box. On the back of the box it tells you a little bit more of the technical specifications of the speaker. There's nothing more interesting around the box so let's get straight into the unboxing. So the first thing that we agreed with is the manual that tells you how to use the speaker and a bag of USB to USB cable and 3.5mm headphone cable. And last but not least, the power adapter. This one is a 12 volt power adapter. Let's pull out the speakers and the speakers are wrapped in this plastic to protect it from shipping. And I just noticed that the wire that goes to the other speaker is non-detachable. This speaker is using a 3 inch paper cone full range speaker. This speaker has a total peak power of 32 watts. This is a ported speaker design, and what does that mean? Well, that means that this speaker is using a bass reflex port to produce bass. At the back of the speaker, we can see that there is a USB input, auxiliary input, subwoofer output, and power input. You can directly use the USB cable to plug into your computer and it will directly send the audio data to it. Or you can use the 3.5mm auxiliary cable. You can toggle between the modes by pressing once on this button. USB input, aux input, Bluetooth input. If you want to change between the equalization mode of the USB mode. function, all you have to do is press the bottom button. Movie mode, music mode, game mode. You can also increase the volume by sliding up or sliding down on that little slider in the middle. To change the RGB mode, all you have to do is hold the last button and then it will slowly change between its modes. We are done checking out the functionality of the speaker. Let's do audio demo right now. Please wear headphones for the best experience. I really hope you guys enjoyed that sound demo. So in conclusion, what do I think about these speakers? Well, these speakers has a really really nice flat sound to it. It's not like those Bose bassiness to it, you know, it's all flat. The vocals and the high range sound is extremely clear with even a little bit of bassiness to it. But like I said, these speakers are really flatty sounded and not super bassy. That's probably why I figured that this speaker has a subwoofer output at the back. So right now, I'm going to be taking a speaker apart to show you guys what's inside. So guys, excuse me for the poor video quality because this is after the review. And I'm trying to take this thing apart to show you guys what's inside the actual speakers, like what the driver is and stuff. But I've been having so much difficult time like finding it out. And um, try looking at the bottom feet thingies. It didn't have any hidden screws there. And right now I couldn't make you know live take apart because it would have been so long and my SD card couldn't you know fit all that footage in. So right now I just like my cousin helped me out a little bit and he suggests that it could be this back panel. So I you know pry this back 
panel carefully out and exposed uh, this back and it had like the hole right there and I'm just gonna take it out right now and show you guys what's inside this Lifefire G2000 speaker so sorry again for the video quality issue I tried to put my original raw footage my editing software and it keeps on crashing so I had to you know improvise so I used my phone's built-in screen recorder in order to record the video that I couldn't put into my editing software okay guys I've successfully taken it apart and what we find here is little foam to give it really nice sound you know dampenization I don't know if I said that correctly and there is a LED lights going up to the area and first thing I see is a huge magnet look at that it's just really really nice magnet so I'm not sure if this is uh it's probably uh it's probably a uh, uh I'd say three inch yeah it's definitely a three incher and I feel like this speaker is a coaxial but I might be wrong because I was pushing a lot of bass through these speakers and I still I, I still could hear the high ends really clearly and I think this is coaxial but I might be wrong don't quote me on that but the magnet size is freaking huge Jesus grizzles and that voice coil that looks like a one inch coil and it's vented so you can you can also see the coil like I push it you can see that the coil is protruding right there damn edifiers had done a really nice job on this anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the review of this edifier G2000 gaming computer speaker if you thought this review was helpful please press the like button and subscribe button on YouTube and if you're watching it on Amazon please press the helpful button and follow button on my Amazon profile and I'll see you guys in the next review goodbye